All right. Well, I probably don't look so great in this video, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, God. What was that commercial for? Oh, yeah. Stain Master Carpet. Um, where uh, every time someone something would get spilled, uh, the person would be go, Oh, that's okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> pet peeve of mine is when people just feel they have to do color grading on their videos. I understand wanting to, to use a raw format for photos, you know, and there supposedly is a raw format for video, but I'd, I'd never be in any sort, of, any sort of pay scale that could ever afford something like that. But in raw, in raw format, it stores a bit extra information than just the, the regular bitmap. So you can, you can change a number of things after you've taken the picture. <clears throat> like, uh, like you can adjust the exposure a little bit. You can, I mean, there's limits to it, obviously, but you know, you, you can change a whole number of things about it in a way that you, there's no way you could do with, with a regular bitmap. So, um, so I understand wanting to change some of the color for, like if you've taken a picture of a sunset or something, right? And you want those colors to pop, right? But color grading is different than that. Color grading takes certain brightnesses and certain hues and colors them just a little bit, tints them just a little bit. <clears throat> so one of the ones I see a lot and I'm just like, oh, stop. Oh, everything, everything light except for the color white, you know, but everything that's kind of medium to, to a light, light gray has a slightly aqua uh, hue to it. And everything that's dark has this brownish, uh, orangey kind of uh, hue to it, you know? And I'm just like, oh, why would you do that to your footage? Ugh. And it's all, oh, we want to emulate film. Well, you don't do it like that. You know, and I see that a lot. I, I also think about in, uh, there are some movies they've remastered and they've done color grading on it. There's, uh, uh what is it? Uh, there's Blade Runner, so many different versions. Like there's the director's cut. There's the, uh, original movie cut. There's, there's this one, I think it's called the final cut. I might have that wrong, but, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice complete version most similar to the director's cut, but they've done color grading throughout it. So anything that was a nice teal or aqua is now a lot greener than it was. Um, and it's just like, well, why did you do that? It looks terrible. You know, it looks like it... it I, I don't understand the, uh, people's obsession with with changing things to look not as realistic. I mean, one of the great things about having digital now is we can make things look more real than ever. You know, but, but people... I mean, it... It's not even like people are trying for something surreal. They're, they're just, it's, oh, the film look. I, I, I know, I know that just, I mean, it, the way I look at it, it's like, you're never going to get, really get the film look again. You, it's, that's done. If you want the film look, then film with film, you know? Of course, it's funny why I still say film. I, I should be saying record, right? But it, to me, if someone wants 
really wants an entire production to have the look of film, then maybe you should do film. Um, it's just weird to me. Um, people will even do this to their, their the footage of their... Uh, they went on a, a vacation... So they do the, and it's it's just a it's a vlog type of video, and it's oh let's do color grading on our vacation. Well, okay. It reminds me of uh, S log. I've made a, another video about this, and I pissed a lot of people off with it. But you know, S log, S log <clears throat> makes it so. It's like turning down the contrast, and turning up the brightness on an old CRT type of television, right? That's what it essentially does to the, the, the way that it's filmed. So there are no real bright whites and there are no real dark blacks, right? It's just... It's the visual equivalent of recording a sample too quietly, you know? Yeah, yeah, you recorded it too quietly, but you can pump it up afterwards, right? And once I say, yeah, but you're you're always going to lose a little bit of resolution. You're going to lose a little bit of the. You can, yeah, you can pump it up, but there could be an element where it's it's sounds faked. It sounds digitally uh, enhanced, right? So yeah, you can record too quietly, and it can still turn out okay. There's also the noise that comes from just generally turning up the volume when something was really, really quiet, and you have the quiet moments. It's sort of a digital... Uh, within the white noise that you hear that's amplified, there's going to be a digital uh, uh, sound to it, right? So the same thing with, with people recording in slog, S-log, you know? Yeah, you can, you can do all this stuff post-recording, but I don't know, I'm just... It just seems weird to me. Um, Especially since people will often take that footage and everything they'll be doing is focusing on trying to make it look like film. Um, you know, I still don't understand the draw to 24 frames a second. You know, I've made some videos saying, hey, what do you prefer? But I, I just don't understand the draw to 24 frames a second. I don't get it. It just... I mean, it was originally made to be a nice, happy medium uh, between, you know, where we can still tell something is supposed to have movement and not taking up too much film. You know, I mean, the, the higher the, the frame rate, the more film it takes, obviously, so... Um, you know, those things had to be taken into consideration when 24 frames a second was first, uh, you know, made into the, the standard. To me, it just looks jarring and just like, I don't know, it's weird to me. I mean, you can literally go to it and you can match what's on the screen, right? That's just weird. To me, it, 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 I don't know. There, there's a whole new way of filming, recording, <laughs> uh, that comes with recording in 60 frames per second. I mean, you can do fast pans and still see what you're looking at. Normally, if they need to do some sort of pan of a, of a, you know, you have a nice, beautiful mountain and trees, and you want to show the vastness of the area, so you do a pan. But normally, in order to, for you to be able to even tell what you're looking at, it has to be this 
really, really slow. And now you can, now with 60 frames per second, you could just go and you, you get the whole thing in a much shorter period of time, right? So there's a number of, of ways that could be changed just by filming and uh, recording <laughs> in, uh, in 60 frames per second. Um, so I don't know. I mean, there's always this nostalgic thing that, and, and I can't say I don't understand nostalgia because I have a, I have a whole channel dedicated to old commercials. So, I mean, yeah, I, I get the nostalgic part. And if that's what it's about, then, then at least I understand that, right? But I don't know. I guess I'm rambling. Thanks for listening if you have.